Welcome back everybody to the Road of Sadness, continuing with my playthrough of Thousand One Spikes on the PC slash Steam. I'm specifically playing the Steam version for those who don't know, part of my Steam collection. So we are still in world number 4 as you can see. And this level particularly is very tricky, even though you're gonna see me go through this rather quickly. Remember, this is post commentary, so I am just showing you a few deaths, but this is mostly about showing you the succeeding attempt. So, yeah, this part is tricky, especially because, as you can see, even if you are riding this platform perfectly, you can still die. Basically, because those big pillars are blocking your way, and there is nothing you can do about that. You might say, yeah, it's a matter of timing as well, but again, even if I am. Avoiding all the traps in the first try and riding this platform where I'm supposed to, it all depends on the pillar's timing. I mean, in, in, if in the end they're gonna block your way, there's nothing you can do about that. And as you will see here, I will barely make the jump, as you can see, pretty much with no time left to jump off this moving platform. And be careful, especially here at the end. Probably this will be a common trap, putting spikes right at the exit door. So yeah, next level here. Super tricky. From the very beginning, as you can see. So you get this statue that shoots arrows at you. This one works on proximity, not on a timer. And you have to watch out for from both sides. In this part, I remember dying a lot. In that part alone. You need to hit the switch there so you can keep advancing. Remember this spiky balls, you can repel them by shooting once. And of course we've got spikes. Probably an easier solution for whoever designed this would have been to put spikes on every single block, no exception. But as you can see there are places where you can't be safe for around a second. It's not gonna be any easy to attempt that. This part at first looks super difficult, probably more difficult than the rest. But then it becomes super easy and then the part with the spikes becomes more stressful. Every new trap becomes more stressful than the previous one. So yeah, here you have to learn the timing of the spikes. Some of them work on proximity, but the majority, as you can see, work on a timer. And you have to know where to stop and where to make jumps, as you can see there, so you can be safe. Here I'm basically waiting for the enemy to go away. So I can uh, shoot him from behind. Even though I made a mistake to get way too close even though killing that enemy i think it's like optional because if you notice there were falling blocks if you continue up there you i would have been able to get an extra life out of that this big yellow skull that works as a collectible as well as for granting you an extra life remember i'm not going for all the collectibles this is just a quick run getting to know the game and beat the the basic, the primary game, without secrets, or DLCs, or anything like that. And apparently I was staying on the wrong block. Getting me killed, as a consequence. So yeah, this first part, again, trust me, I was easily 15 minutes struggling, trying to figure out the pattern of this statues in arrows and if you notice the amount of lives that I have right now it's a lot lower than before so you get the idea of how many deaths I have skipped so you don't waste your time watching me die again and again and again it's one of the reasons why I decided to go for post commentary I'm not sure if this is going to be the winner attempt probably it is so yeah, this part right here. See that block over there? All the way up there? That's the extra life. Completely optional. 
I still need to go down where the door is to go get a key. Yeah, this is going to be the winner attempt, everybody. Spoilers. This bar is actually easier than all the previous ones, in all honesty. There are a couple of falling blocks. Same thing with these last ones. And no spike traps at the end, which is also, or always, very relieving. So, if I'm not mistaken, this is 3-5, which is the last stage. Well, the last, like, normal stage in the world before dealing with the one that is usually empty and gives you the artifact. The level itself is super short, as you can tell. The first part is relatively easy. The big difficulty here is to deal with this moving platform that you have to wait for riding first and once you ride it you have to deal with a lot of these statues that shoot arrows at you. They work on a timer this time around, they don't work on proximity otherwise probably would be impossible to, to beat. But you have to know when exactly these statues are gonna shoot arrows at you and where, more importantly. And one little moment of carelessness, let's say, makes you a dead man. This part here is super simple. Activate a switch, move quickly before the time runs out for the switch. Remember, it works on a very tight timer. Avoid a couple of blocks with spikes and then make the, the waiting game, play the waiting game. Until pretty much the end of the sequence, the door is right here as you can see, so you have to ride the platform, avoid all these statues, well, all the arrows from the statues rather. The good news is that they don't work on unpredictable patterns. The patterns don't change in, in any attempt. You, you know exactly where the arrows are coming from and when. So you know exactly when to be ready, basically to shoot your knives to repel. I, and I completely ignored the one behind me. I think it was the very same arrow that killed me the first time. Could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it is the same one. So it, it would have been a matter of turning around quickly, which is one of the most difficult things to do in this game, in my, in my opinion. Deal with something in front of you and then turn around and deal with something behind you right after. But in all honesty, even though I it took me over half an hour to beat this level, again I'm just showing you a portion of me dying a, a little, a little bit, and then showing you the the successful attempt, the winner attempt. But it was not frustrating, even though I was stuck for like half an hour playing this. It was not frustrating because it wasn't too long, and it was kind of an interesting experience or experiment to attempt different possibilities. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't take too long to to get back to here and, and try again. I think it's the very same arrow that is killing me every single time. Again, could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty positive it is the very same arrow at the exact same time, basically being completely unaware, being completely focused on the arrows coming from the right, but completely ignoring the one coming from the left, or at least not realizing soon enough. I guess that's the main issue here, the main problem, not realizing soon enough that once you destroy the arrow that is right in front of you, there is the second after you have to turn around and maybe duck. I think that's what you end up doing, or what I ended up doing. I think this is going to be the winner attempt, I'm not totally sure about this. But I think instead of turning around and shoot in order to repel the, the arrow with my knives, what I did was, instead of turning around, ducked right after I show that arrow in question because it goes back back uh, back up once you get the key here and that's exactly what I needed to do duck under the arrow instead of trying to try and shoot it and that was like the main uh, the last main difficulty because everything else is pretty much smooth and you beat the level with that 
So yeah, that was 4-5, now 4-6 is the big temple that gives you the artifact. This time around, on this footage right here, I didn't get the artifact before, so you will see me get the amount of lives that I'm supposed to be granted by this new artifact. Not sure about the amount. But yeah, in the previous world, I basically played it before, entirely before recording it. And that's why you saw me get an artifact that I already got before, that it got a different color, and instead of giving me life, it removed one life out of the counts. You get a lost artifact, the key of Fair Lady. And that gives me... I think around 300 and something lives. No, 256, because... As you can see, I have exactly 800. Alright guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.